it's one storyline mash like it i don't know i know we're like getting back into like the the problem we ran into tlc ran into with um happily ever after where it's just like it feels like one long continuous episode which i guess is sort of the point i mean the series or whatever but like it's hard to differentiate between the episodes sometimes it's it's fine it's just like one stream of consciousness gets broken up between two episodes so yes that's it, a good way to put fine. it fine so it, it kind of works it's like we have two weeks worth i'm like we could just basically talk about the couples because it's not like one right. week right separated <laughs> we're still at the dinner table you know right. talking about something and, are we still yeah. in the rv Oh my god. <laughs> We're still in the army. Oh my god. Um I the the one the thing that's on everybody that everybody's talking about that I'm seeing the most memes about is Steven with a B. Now, his stuff over the last couple of episodes has just been ridiculous. And I suspect a lot of that is is producer driven. But I suspect they're playing off of just who he is and what he's done. I mean, the producers didn't make him sleep with all those girls after Alina told him don't date other women, right? So that's not producer driven, but like I suspect some of like the conversations, the way that they're set up are producer driven, but they didn't make him like lick his wine glass from the inside out. You know what I mean? Oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... (laughs) The conversation they had were uh, 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 stop, stop, stop. I, I accidentally muted you. Did, did you mute me? I, I, I was touching something on my screen and <laughs> I forgot I have a touch screen computer you and I accidentally silenced me. I silenced you. I don't even know if that, I don't know. If, you were talking know. about Steven with a V. <laughs> you oh just started God. to say something. <laughs> <laughs> no taco tuesday for you i know um, i was saying that the little exercise he did about like let's talk about our strengths and weaknesses as a couple <laughs> right and then lists off like one strength she goes i agree he's like okay now let's move on to the bad part we like this was a half-ass exercise i don't know how it works for his missionary friends and him because like they didn't right. really dive down into anything except for this was an opportunity for him to confess that he's a scumbag. Which is why I think this was a producer setup. Yes, that that's what I was getting at. Yes, yes. So that that's what I mean. Like, but like, you know, what he ends up confessing, I mean, it sets up the conversation for them to have this conversation. But what he confesses is not producer driven, obviously, right? Like he so for those of you guys who aren't actually watching the show, but are listening to us and expecting us to catch you up on the show. Um, what did he do? He said he, um, that she had, at, that the thing she didn't like about him was that he had all these female friends and that he was, that she was like, why do you have to have all these female friends? And he was like, well, they're just real, really good friends. And then she said something about, um, how she asked him not to date other women or he asked if he could date other women and she said no and he says well i did anyway and then he later confesses that he also slept with them but it's all okay because you know jesus had female friends too um well you know what jesus drank wine too so there you go let her drink back then it wasn't the kind of wine we have though back then the wine was better than the water okay I'm just being funny. Um, 
I'm like, I don't know bi- biblical history. She's so like, I'm um, just okay. fucking with you. I'm, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I was going to say, but back, back in the day, it was because the beer used to be more filtered than the water. And I'm talking about uh, like uh, old American history. So they would they would give their workers beer and the beer was more trusted, like I said, because it was, it was more filtered than the regular water. So, but it was also like, I don't know, 1% alcohol. It was basically piss. So you could drink it <laughs> like water. Anyways, it's besides the fucking point. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it's like this guy is only Mormon in name right none of his actions scream I'm devoted but he's like all that talk but no walk kind of right thing, right I mean which I really don't like because it's yeah. it's yeah it's giving Mormonism a bad name right and they don't need that <laughs> as if they they don't need that so it's just kind of like I don't understand. I don't, I don't fucking, I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. Like he, like their first night together, he like pulls out the book of Mormon and is like, let's read scripture, you know, which is stupid because then like, you know, and two hours later, he's going to confess that he not only dated these women, but he slept with them, plural, multiple. So like what exactly is Mormon about him? Oh, I can't drink wine because I'm Mormon. Oh, okay. But you can scootily poop all those women. Scootily poop. <laughs> I see Mr. Flanders in <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> Just gonna scootily poop in your poop shoot. <laughs> Did you date a guy who called sex scootily poop? <laughs> he had a big dick, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I miss I'm you. Not, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a size queen at all. But if you're gonna but. use scootily poop, then. <laughs> you're saying that with big dick energy and that's all i have to say oh. <laughs> do you think you think you think with him no him oh god no, no. oh okay no <laughs> he does not have big dick energy no maybe we need to ask maddie and um poodle oh wait is poodle maddie maddie and jake <laughs> the, the gays <laughs> 90 day gays oh my god we need to ask them oh my God. <laughs> if they can read this stuff. It's like the morning after Katrina's like, are you Matt or Poodle? And whose ceiling is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. I don't have anything else to say about I think he's a guy, gaslighting except asshole. Except for he, well, he responded to the friend's message. Mm-hmm. With I want to see where that goes. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think that's just like, oh, he responded, but he didn't respond like, yeah, come visit me. He just said the best time to visit is this time or something like that. And it's like, he's like a the guy, flirt. the guy is a flirt and I yeah. think he likes the attention. Mm-hmm. And I think that because this person is, um, because these people are online and there's no consequence to just flirting back. Right. Right. He's not making so plans to go marry that to person. Her. Well, it is if she said she doesn't like that. Right. And right. He just does it anyways. But if he's going to disobey the Lord, he's not <laughs> going to obey his not ready to be wife yet. Right. Like he, right. But I'm going to move to Turkey put with his her. entire in eternal life in fucking jeopardy to scootily poop. I don't think he's worried about the wrath of Elena. I don't think so. Which is just so like, why are you like, oh God, you know, I was, I was perusing her um, Instagram and <clears throat> she posted this picture of her like all made up and she's looking all like, you know, like hot and stuff. Not the way, I mean, she looks beautiful on TV, but it's, she's like completely like made up, up right. And she does makeup mm-hmm. and she likes it and stuff. And she posted this picture. She said, somebody with a V didn't like this picture, but I do. So here it is. <laughs> and it was like the way she said it. I'm like, hmm, I don't know that maybe they're not together. And I hope not. I hope they're still Does not she together. mean V is in vagina? No, because remember, he was like um, Stephen with a V. On like one of the first episodes. 
Yeah. Because God I mean, forbid you accidentally like spell it with a PH. He was like Stephen with a V. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be that wouldn't be Stephen. It would be Stefan. <laughs> but it's pronounced Stephen. It'd be Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> Not Stephen. Uh, It'd be Stefan. Who the fuck spells Stephen with a PH? It's a lot of people. I've seen it that way a lot. That would be Stefan. No. It's not Stephen. <laughs> like oh Fen Fen. Oh the English language is dumb. I'm done. Um and anyway, yeah. who else? Who else? Oh god. Um Jenny and Sumit. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a short episode. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened to them. Are they married yet? No. Well, then, like, he won't marry her. <laughs> no, I can't remember if we talked about this on the last episode or not, but um, he they, they go to, like, he's, you know, he lost his passport or his, his father-in-law has yeah, his passport. Yeah, we, we talked about how okay. easy it was to get the fucking okay. passport. Okay, okay. And then, so then we go to, like, he's, they're celebrating his brother's wife's pregnancy and she he decides to take it upon himself to use that moment to say to tell mom and dad that he and jenny are engaged because apparently they you know oh yeah he gave her the ring so whatever not a real ring ceremony and all that but um so because she's like i can't because she can't go to these things because his parents don't accept her you know and so it's just right. a continuation it's recycling the same storyline from their first season so i mean it's the same thing there's nothing there's nothing new here um and you know and then <laughs> she says on this most recent episode she's like i'm beginning to think she'll do anything to keep me away from you you think, Jenny? <laughs> you think? Whoa. She's threatening to kill herself, which in and of itself, that's a whole set of separate emotional manipulation. But, and then what Sumit actually said something which was really interesting because he talked about his, like, you know, his mom's kind of crazy or whatever. So dad always just like, you tell her one thing, whatever. You just tell her what she wants to hear. And then you lie just so you don't deal with her wrath. And I was like, oh, so that's where he gets it from. So he like grew up learning this behavior of lying to avoid the consequences of telling the truth. So that like, you know, show, you know, like his whole pattern of lying to Jenny, that makes sense. I mean, he grew up that way, you know? Right. Not that it's right, but you know, it is what it is. Right. So, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing more to say about them though, you know? Yeah, I, I think it just like pissed on the potter, get off. I think, you know, his parents are. <laughs> I think that was a caption of one of my Instagram posts, their first season. Oh my God, <laughs> but the parents are like, seriously, like you're fucking up our future and reputation here. Like, take then that we sh- shit somewhere else. <laughs> no, so let me tell you guys about the newest sponsor of the broadcast. It's a device called the Ember Wave. And the Ember Wave is the first wristband that helps you feel cooler or warmer at the press of a button. Not feeling like thermally comfortable can contribute to lost productivity, increased stress levels, quality of life, and can be mentally and physically exhausting. Like hot flashes waking you up at night, health conditions where you have problems with thermal regulation. You guys know that I have multiple sclerosis and it makes me run hot all the time. And then I get hot flashes on top of that and my body can't thermal regulate itself. Once it gets hot, it stays hot. So the Ember Wave has been amazing for me. At the touch of a button, it sends these cooling waves via my wrist and it changes the way my body senses the temperature so I feel cooler without having to like crank a fan on my face or turn the AC to 60 degrees. The sensation is like an inside job. It works with your brain and your body and all the science that I don't understand, but it makes you feel more comfortable in just a matter of minutes. It's based on the science of how your brain and your body respond to temperature sensations. So it's like the feeling of a cool pillowcase on your cheek or sticking your foot out from underneath the covers when you get hot. You can try the Ember Wave risk-free for 30 days. Ember is offering our listeners $50 off. 
To get this limited time offer, go to embrwave.com slash broadcast and the discount will automatically be applied at checkout. That's $50 off your order today. Go to embrwave.com slash broadcast. All right. So, you know, let's take a moment for some real talk. We're in a pandemic now. I think we've been in it for like a year, actually, almost to the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> how are you? Like, what's, you know, how, how are you doing? What's interfering with your, your happiness? You know, the biggest thing that I've been dealing with in the pandemic, particularly early on, but still now is anxiety, which uh, came out of the blue for me because anxiety is not one of my go-to issues. <laughs> Other ones, yes, but anxiety, no. So I have actually had to take a step back and uh, learn some new uh, coping techniques and mechanisms to help me deal with anxiety. Right. And I mean, even right now, seeking therapy is a normal thing, right? Um, Better help is a great because, so I don't like traditional brick and mortar therapy. It doesn't work for my schedule. Like I don't want to have to drive to it. (laughs) Yeah, no kidding. I don't feel comfortable in face-to-face. Like I don't open up in face-to-face situations. So um, that's, what's great about better help is because it's not a crisis line. It's a professional counseling service provided online and it's secure. Um, There's licensed professionals who specialize in variety issues, including depression. Um, And what I can relate to the most is stress, (laughs) especially anxiety, Um, because I'm juggling work. I'm a teacher. Um, I I do, you know, homeschooling for my son every day, even the weekends. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to establish some kind of work-life balance, you know, in a pandemic. It's really hard. When everybody's Um, working from home and everybody's all up in your space. (laughs) Exactly. And, you know, one thing that, you know, for me, security, I feel like anything I share will be confidential. Well, absolutely. I mean, if they're professional counselors, then you get the same kind of professionalism, um, but it, but in much more convenient and even affordable um, way by doing it through better help. And we want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash broadcast. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash broadcast for 10% off your first month. I'm going to take a minute to talk to you guys about neutral fold. You know how like your hair sheds when you get in the shower or you end up with hair all in the drain and in your hairbrush and everywhere else. Well, neutral fold has a solution to that. Thousands of women have taken back control of their hair with Nutrafol, and many users are raving that the supplement, which is 100% drug-free, not only transformed their hair, but restored their confidence too. This is physician-formulated, and it, there are two targeted formulas for women that are clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness with less of that shedding through all stages of life, whether you're young, whether you're old, whether you're middle age, whether you're a lady of a certain age like myself. Healthier hair growth takes time, so you'll begin to experience thicker, stronger, faster-growing hair in three to six months. In a clinical study, 86% of women reported improved hair growth after six months. More than 1,500 top doctors have recommended Nutrafol as an effective and high-quality solution for healthier hair. Visit Nutrafol.com and take their hair wellness quiz for personalized product recommendations that are unique to your hair's needs. As Nutrafol's powerful ingredients bring your body back into balance, you may also notice improvements to your overall well-being, including more restful sleep, less stress, and better skin, nails, and libido. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code FRAUDCAST to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is the best offer anywhere, and it is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code FRAUDCAST. Then they show, I guess the parents are moving in with them. Do we know why? No. I guess maybe they'll explain it in the next episode. I don't know. No, you got a point. I didn't catch it. It was for the, it was showing the scenes for next week. 
So, I mean, well, not, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna get that yet. You do, we'll yeah, to, we'll have to see. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Drama, I, I think it might just be producer set up so they can have more scenes of um, mom being mean to Jenny. I mean, yeah, because <laughs> you know, we haven't beat that storyline to death yet. Um, and what else? What else? Um, Kenny and Armando. So this was kind of interesting. So we have Armando having that heart to heart talk with his dad, which was really sweet. Um, mm-hmm. cause he's talked, he was talking about how he just never really talked to his dad, you know? And, and, um, so they were able to have this conversation and stuff. And then he tells him that, you know, he's getting married and dad's like a little, huh? Okay. Um, and then having the conversation with, um, with Kenny about it and Kenny's like all Kenny's still a little bit butthurt about it you know he's like because he doesn't understand because he comes from a different family structure right and so he it's hard for him to understand where 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 Armando's coming from and then Armando says to him and I thought this was a brilliant point that Armando makes was like look it took me my whole life to accept that I was gay like dad just found out like give him a minute you know he'll get there you know, right. and I thought that was a really, really excellent point that he and made. his kids in the fucking spotlight. You're not just figuring it out privately, right? It is very much public. Mm-hmm. People know you, yeah, and that that makes it a lot harder too. Yeah, well, and then the conversation. Um, I guess it was. I guess this was when um, Cassie was dress shopping. They were shopping for the the material for Hannah's dress with um, Armando's mom and sister. Mm-hmm. And I guess the mom and sister were talking about basically like Armando's wife was like a daughter to them, like was like, you know, was super close family. So losing her was very difficult for them. So having that, not just losing her and then like, you know, gaining Kenny you know, it's, it was just different. It's, it's very different for them. So it was, you know, it takes a minute for them to accept it. You know what I mean? Like, and I thought that, that helped, that helped sort of give some of the backstory about why this has been difficult for them. You know, we haven't heard much about their, we, you know, we haven't really heard a lot about Armando's, you know, um, wife. I mean, we know she passed away at a car accident. Right. But, um, you know, we didn't know a lot about the relationship he had, she had, you know, or anything. And so having mom and sister talk a little bit about their relationship with her, I think helped give some of like the context to why they are the way they are. You right. know, it's not, it's not an anti Kenny thing necessarily. It's, it's, they're still maybe still grieving. Um, well, and still preserving the memory. Cause that is Hannah's mother still. Right. 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 You can't just erase it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, and then how sweet was it when Armando's father gave Cassie that necklace? Do you I think know. that was producer or no? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. It felt, it felt genuine. I think it's, I think like they're already like cavity sweet of a story. <laughs> yeah. That I know we're cynical and we want to say everything's producer driven, but I kind of yeah. think that like they just finally found a, group of people that didn't need too much intervention yeah they didn't need a lot of producer stuff i i do feel a lot of their stuff is very authentic um and and i said this before is like there's so much of what they're dealing with is real world like relatable stuff right so these are real issues that people have and it's it's nice to see the real issues being dealt with you know and 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 that's what we want to see we want to see all these real issues not these like fake setups you know of stupid rv scenes you know that that go on forever um you know and just like seeing them dealing with these kinds of things and accepting his the fact that he's gay and accepting not only is he gay but he's engaged and there's going to be a wedding and you know there's that's a lot to deal with you know and and that is not uncommon i mean i you know you see that in the real world so Mm -hmm. it's it's nice to see that reflected i mean not that i want them to have like issues and problems but it's nice that that we're getting an authentic read on them right is what i'm saying (laughs) okay (laughs) um we didn't get Corey and evelyn this week 
did we have them last week? I don't, I can't remember. They're so boring and, and I just can't with them I, anyway. I don't remember them. I think we had a very heavy dose of them last time. So yeah, like with the dress and the penis mm-hmm. soup and all that. Yeah, <laughs> that Nick soup. <laughs> what'd you call it dick soup dick soup <laughs> every fucking drop oh every nice. drop um who else do we have we have uh oh I forgot their name ellie and... ellie and victor yeah Whew. okay so we've seen more of them trying to recover like just try to like okay we just had this hurricane blow through here let's like survey the damage and stuff and their little house is still standing but almost everything else is completely destroyed she starts with this this wasn't what i like i don't know that i'm prepared to like live here right with it being like this and she says this to him and he's like no i want to stay here and and do all this and i need you here with me to do that Um, But we only got a very little amount of that. I want to see more of their dynamic because like they're, they're, they're very real to me too. Right. And there's also people who have had, there's been pictures. I haven't seen the pictures, but apparently there are pictures of her back in Seattle and allegedly him too. So um yeah, but as we all know that all those pictures could just be visiting and right, right. Who knows? And mm-hmm. I, like, I don't know. We we know we kind of have the inkling as people never stay overseas. Has anyone stayed over yet? Um, Jenny. Okay, well that's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> you have Jenny who stayed. Um. So far, Ari, oh, that's Ari and Vinny. We yeah, talk about that's them, true. But, she's actually staying there, but she's going back to the U.S. Even to, though she wants to run back to the U.S. every time, you know. Right. I got a paper cut. I don't trust Ethiopian band aids. <laughs> oh God. Um. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's just kind of like. I, <laughs> Oh, I mean, that, that I, seemed producer driven to me because they know why his ex-wife, they know his ex-wife took the kid back to America. They right. know that's a soft spot. I feel like they're creating this scenario where like the doctor doesn't even see the hernia in action, but says it's a hernia. Yeah. And that that to, whole doctor I, visit was like, <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Hmm. Oh, oh, look, oh, it's a hernia. He needs surgery right now. I just, believe, just slice I believe open his belly. that they have good doctors there. <laughs> yeah. But well, this, this wasn't she appointment... super impressed with like their labor delivery. Remember when they went and she, or and she was like, oh, wow. And her mom, the nurse was like, oh, yeah, this is all great. You know, so yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> but all of a sudden it's the, the villain. No, I just that that whole that whole doctor's appointment just made me laugh. I was like, even that doctor was probably like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> they had to reenact it that's total total reenactment and that's what that it is they're reenacting it it's yeah like yeah because oh it's a hernia he needs surgery right now okay like they didn't do any internal imaging i was like oh my god yeah no that's that's complete bullshit but yeah um i felt like the scene in the barber shop where she's bawling her eyes out was very real and his reaction seemed real so like i don't feel like that necessarily was a reenactment maybe they just got lucky and were able to get the original um you know what though it would remember when there were some pictures floating around or i think it was from the tell all no 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 not the tell all the um bears all episodes where people pointed out that the plug in the room that Ari was in was an American plug and they were doing like their interview. I wonder if this coincides with her bringing him back to get the surgery and going back there. Oh, because remember there was some times where we're like, she's definitely not in Ethiopia, but then she was posting pictures. Yeah. When she got her, her lips and injection, her face stuff done. She obviously, she was in New York then. Right. Um, So yeah, I wonder. Yeah. The baby gets surgery. She gets a touch up and they go back. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's mystery I mean, solved. That'll... Mystery solved, it's, guys. It's resolved. And nobody <laughs> had group sex this time. <laughs> oh my god! You never know. Her boyfriend's are... oh, the ex-husband. Ex-husband. <laughs> you did have them having group sex, didn't you? With I did. With Vinny's, I Vinny's did. ex. I hmm. put them in a polyamorous relationship. Right. Right. <laughs> I'm such scum. I know. <laughs> Not scum. <laughs> You know what I also need to just I want to touch on before it completely escapes my brain. We we didn't finish going through Caribbean. There wasn't a whole lot um left in this. I mean, with story-wise. Um uh what's her name had the baby. Um but what surfaced recently was a wedding, a marriage certificate between steve steve is that his name and martine oh yeah the guy with the daughter in the um yeah 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 and and she was just she was all like you the know. ones who took a bubble bath in the bathing suits yes yes <laughs> as one does <laughs> those people those people <laughs> yes they got married okay <laughs> So that surprises me. I it was I was a little surprised too. Um, it was sent to me, but um, the person who sent it to me also sent it to Kyle Cray Cray. Oh, okay. He, he had posted it. Like I didn't see it. Like I didn't see it until I saw him having posted it. So by the time I got my DM with it, um, yeah, I'd already seen it. So um, yeah. So he has that posted. If you want to take a look at it, um, it seems pretty legit you know yeah so you guys know how much i love murder murder kill uh tv movies all of it well i also love all things horror and uh creepy psychological thrillers shocking horror movies supernatural terrors anything like that i am all in i love it we're in spooky season it is a amazing time just to watch all these movies and, and that is why i'm so excited about our newest sponsor shutter.com through amc networks it's like the netflix of horror movies right so you have like all of the like old classic stuff and you have new modern horror movies um they have the original 1976 Carrie, which is one of my all time favorite movies. It's just such a classic, classic movie. I love it. Uh, I'm very excited for their new docuseries behind the monsters on the origins and pop culture dominance of all our favorite modern movie monsters. So much more. I am so excited about this service because that is so much of what I like to watch. Uh, a bunch of girlfriends and I get together and watch horror movies regularly. And now that like we're coming out of, you know, quarantine and stuff, we're, we're starting that up again. And this is perfect for that because it's got everything that we can possibly want to watch. So I really want to share this with you guys so you can stream great thrillers, horror, suspense movies, all for only $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year. You stream it on any of your devices iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Xbox One, Amazon Fire TV, Google Chromecast, Roku, and Android devices. Uh, it's such a unique collection of exclusive and original films and series, horror classics, and blockbuster hits. Shudder's expertly curated collection includes must-see titles like Vicious Fun, The Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman. <laughs> plus all of the horror documentaries and the hit creep show TV series from the executive producer Greg Nicotero of The Walking Dead, which is really exciting. To try Shudder for free for 30 days, go to Shudder.com and use promo code FRAUDED. That's S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com promo code frauded. Susan, it's so great to finally be able to get together again. Oh, it sure is. And I really appreciate you picking up the bill. I'm happy to. I've got the extra cash. Since we've all been driving so much more again, I've been using GetUpside, the free gas app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get paid cash when you buy gas with the GetUpside app? Yes, up to 25 cents a gallon. Cash back every time I buy gas. Does that actually add up to anything? Some months 
months, I make 200 to 300 bucks. Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the free GetUpside app now. Download the free GetUpside app now in the App Store or Google Play to save up to 25 cents a gallon when you buy gas. Use promo code FILL for a 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. That's up to 50 cents a gallon on your next fill-up. You can cash out anytime to PayPal or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free GetUpside app and use promo code FILL for a 25 cents a gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code FILL. Um, I, I haven't really looked at any of the other people because quite honestly, they, I forgot about them. <laughs> like oh Dan- Daniel God. and I don't remember what his wife, I don't crying remember wife. at all. I did again. Yeah, no. Like, are they in the, like, they're in the U.S.? I don't know. Like, yeah. the, the the resolution on all these stories was just kind of weird. So, uh, like, that's it. Like, what, what's her name? Had the baby. Had the baby was early. There was complications. Baby was in the NICU for a couple months or something. And then, but now is home and healthy and happy and everything's good. Right. Cute little baby. Have you baby. seen that show Too Hot to Handle? Yeah. We co- didn't we cover it at one point in our early, for, early, early for a little days? bit for a little bit. Okay. I think they need a 90 day version of it. <gasps> so instead of a single life, fuck the single life, take all the singles and do a too hot to handle season with them where they can't have sex or kiss or touch or anything. Yeah. And, and they get money for it. Um, or no, they get a uh they get more instagram followers oh (laughs) yeah (laughs) and then they lose followers for every like sexual touch they have they get uh ultimate vibrator sponsorship (laughs) (laughs) what your imagination i love it it's either Um, it's either boom bod yeah boom bod everyone's doing boom bod or like vibe bod it's it's one or the other you know what's so funny is that so i could use i could use a a vibrator (laughs) hear me out so with when you know i'm working with resin right oh you need to get the bubbles out yes exactly (laughs) the only reason i know okay the only reason i know is because when i was uh an architect architecture major we did uh, concrete molds oh, for our okay. models. And so you had to vibrate the bubbles out of it while mm-hmm. it was still wet. Right. And I had a high powered vibrator that I bought from the sex shop just for that. So this thing was caked with concrete. <laughs> and one of my one of my sorority friends found it and was like, like what? Holy oh, shit. <laughs> what are you into? And <laughs> Wait, wait, back up, sorority friend. Hush. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not just going <laughs> to skip over that. We're not just skipping over that. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I dabbled. I dabbled in the blank fed up blank for a little bit. I'm not saying more than that, but yeah, it was good times. Okay. I vibrated concrete. You vibrated concrete. I dabbled. In sorority house. I that was the only action house. that happened in my room <laughs> was vibrating concrete. There you go. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was the only version that had more sex toys than everyone else. <laughs> I had to find the perfect vibration speed and what's the word for it? The, the, you know, you're asking how, how it how it emits the vibration. They didn't have good Hitachis back then. <laughs> they were actually vibrators back then. Well, or they were actually back massagers. Back, back massagers. Then. Yeah, no, and like, then someone got adventurous, and Hitachi had to take its name off of it because <laughs> <laughs> it didn't like the rep it got. <laughs> oh my god! Like no, like in my like one of my resin like groups. This girl's like, yeah, no, I took literally took my magic wand, I put it inside a sock, and I put the sock next to the cup. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. And and so you, you know, you're supposed to like let your resin after you mix it, you're supposed to let the resin sit for a little bit anyway to help with the bubbles. And so they she does she did that, and I was like, oh, that's brilliant, you know, and put it in the sock, and then it vibrates and it helps bring all the bubbles to the top. Well, the more you know, guys. The more, the more you know, you know. that's uh, <laughs> that's Katrina's resin fact of the week. 
<laughs> um, and my uh, the uh, rose quartz resin penis has made it to its recipient, and she oh. loves it. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, it lights up and everything. It's all. Oh it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um anyway so um yeah the more you know on that note i think that's it that's all we have i'm sorry you guys wait you waited two weeks for this episode and that's all we got because this is what we're given we're working with what we got i, I think um, that's all we can work with what oh oh i know what i wanted to ask you what do you think about the single life season two cast members that have been released all I saw was Stephanie. Who'd I miss? Who Debbie? There? Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. You're going to knock the dust off of it. <laughs> Clean cobwebs out. <laughs> I think she's ready. Yeah. I mean, I'd like, I'm torn between like, it'll be hi- highly entertaining to watch, but also I hate her so much because she's a gaslighting asshole. So like I alternate between those two. she's just angry though because she's not getting it she's you know it's really you hard to hear your it is? it's really hard to hear your son putting holes in his wall and you're just downstairs playing fucking slots in the living room like no Play slots in the living room. <laughs> it's not fair oh she needs a magic wand a hitachi oh my god <laughs> she needs that sponsorship <laughs> um no who else who else was on it um let me see the single life season two season two (sighs) i think tanya oh tanya and sinjin yeah yeah that's the other thing yes um it has been confirmed that they have split um allegedly is ed back yeah ed Ed's- they say ed and liz broke up no shocker and yeah. i think that um oh gosh what's her name uh shoot i keep forgetting her name give me a reference uh she was the young one that was married to the dick dickhead natalie so- Na- no, no. <laughs> Natalie is there, right? Natalie right. is going to be on the same yeah. life. Yeah. But so is, um, is God, where was she Sinjin, from? Stephanie. Um, oh, I, I'm not seeing. Let me see. Stephanie, Tanya, Sinjin, Debbie, Ed, Big Ed, Natalie. Yeah. That's it. That's all. Okay. Oh. I thought I saw somebody else. Um, but that's okay. I don't think so. The the young girl with the with the dickhead. Yeah, she just recently got divorced. That doesn't help. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan. His name was Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Uh, the, the, with the, an dick F? Pit, the the original um uh Fernanda, whose Fernanda. real name is Nancy. Thank you. Yeah. That's who I thought was coming back. I don't think I saw her though. No, she's, she doesn't seem to be confirmed. So, um, sorry, that was a long walk around. uh, Wow. An unrelevant fucking bush. Okay. I'm done. We're done. (laughs) Bush. Um, no, Jonathan's the one that called me a clown blogger. So, you know, so insulting. Ow. I know. Okay. Um, because I wouldn't, Oh no. I was like, I don't even remember what it was about. Drama. I think we're done. <laughs> Drama. 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 Um, anyway, I think that's it. We're done. I'm going to go get tacos now. Okay. Okay. It is Tuesday. I already had dinner. We had meatballs. Sorry. Ew. It was good. They were good. They were like Korean meatballs. They were really good. Really good. Anyway. Okay. That's it. That's all we got for you. Sorry. 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 All right, we love you guys. Thank you. We are the broadcast. We're dumpster diving, so you don't have to. Bye.